Hey guys, so today I am going to show you how to make these wall hangings behind me. They are super fun and cute and add a nice boho touch to any room in your house. The best part is they are super easy to make and you can customize them in any way you want with different colors, sizes, lengths. So if you wanna see how to make them, then please keep watching. So the first thing you're going to need are some craft rings like these. I got these at Joanne Fabrics. Then you're going to need some yarn, whichever kind of yarn you want to use. I am using various shades of gray, black, and white because I'm going to create sort of an ombre effect with the yarn, but you can do whatever you want. And I've gone ahead and pre-cut these into long strands and I kept them nice and long because I don't know exactly how long I want the wall hanging to be, but I can always trim them later. So you're going to start by taking one of the strands and putting the two ends together and then put the folded end behind the ring and pull the ends through it like this. And you're just gonna continue doing this until you want to move on to another color or until you're done. Here I'm actually putting two strands together in one loop just because I am using a thinner yarn for this shade of gray. And you can make the yarn strands go as wide on the ring as you want. Here I wanted it to be pretty full, but not too full where it starts curving too far up the ring. And here I'm attaching a second smaller ring just for decoration. You don't have to do this. You could add as many rings or as few rings as you want. So to attach the smaller ring to the bigger ring, all you're going to need is one strand of yarn, whichever color in your design you choose to use. And this is where you'll use your hot glue gun if you have one. So once you have your ring placed where you want it to be, you just have to take the long strand of yarn and wrap it around the two rings so that they stay together. It's a good idea to leave a little bit of a tail so you can actually wrap the yarn around it and it will stay more secure. If you're not using a hot glue gun, then just leave a longer tail and you could just tie it off to the other end when you've wrapped it all the way around. Once you've wrapped it around enough times that you feel like it's secure and you've covered the little tail that you started with, you can just use the hot glue gun to secure the end to the back of your ring.
Let it dry for a few seconds before cutting off the excess and you're almost done. Now all that's left to do is to trim your yarn to whatever length you want it to be. I like to have a little bit of a sort of unfinished look to it. I don't want everything to be super even and perfect. I wanted everything to be just a little bit kind of natural looking. And you can really just have fun with this part by trimming it to different lengths or maybe making a different shape, cut it at a slant or into a triangle. Uh, you can also add yarn to the smaller ring if you want. Really just make it exactly as you like it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any requests of videos you'd like to see, definitely let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.